So today I got something good for y'all. Anybody that's having trouble or struggling with actually getting views or visibility on their YouTube, this video is for you. A lot of times people try to gatekeep the success and all of the secret sauce, but not me. That's not what we do here. I'm gonna be giving you a couple settings that you may not have looked at or that have been overlooked that can change your viewership very, very quickly. To be honest, I for one didn't even know about these before I started researching it, but I make your job easy and I do it for you so if you want to increase your viewership let's go ahead and get into this video and change some of those settings all right so boom the first thing you want to do you want to go to youtube and then you want to click on this little icon right here basically it's your profile picture and then you want to go to youtube studios all right once you go to youtube studios you're going to want to scroll down to customization the customization tab is also the tab where you do everything to get basically the aesthetics of your page looking right um, and everything like that. Obviously that's important, but that's not what we're going on right now. Okay. So next you're going to want to go to the home tab. Once you go on the home tab, uh, you can go to the home tab right here. You're going to want to show your channel home tab to highlight and showcase content for your audience. You can toggle this on or off, but you want to have this on because the home tab is going to basically be like your home page when people stop on your YouTube channel. So whenever they come to your YouTube channel, it's going to look like that. Uh, let's see if I can do an example of that. All right. So this is basically the home page. This is what people will be seeing. And these are the different columns that you can have. You notice how I have all videos, popular videos, Etsy side hustle, my shorts, everything is there lined up. So then anybody coming to my page can see those sections in the new section. So that's what we're working on right here. So to add those sections, you go to layout, customize the layout of your channel homepage with up to 12 sections. Now you can add these sections here with a channel trailer spotlight for returning, uh, subscribers the for you the videos popular videos short videos those are the things that you saw on my channel um already like going here you see for you all videos popular videos like we said lives past streams upcoming live streams single playlists created playlists multiple playlists subscriptions featured video channels feature channels top community clips so uh the first one is the channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed yet you're going to want to go to the options and you can change or remove video so for the sake of this video i'm going to remove everything here and then we're going to add it together so i want to add a section these as you see as they're coming up they're the suggested ones so i do the for you for you YouTube recommends fresh content based on your viewers interest. This is only visible to your viewers when you have enough content. So this is a good one to have simply because it's going to show your best videos basically based on the person that's looking at it. It's going to automatically recommend the videos that they should be seeing. So you want to have that one. Um, also, you could do a channel trailer. That's what I would recommend be the first thing up there. And this is where you want to do your most viral video. It doesn't even have to have millions of views or thousands of views, just basically your best video or the one that you feel is your best video. Um, a pro tip, you can also do your latest video, but that would mean that you would have to constantly go back in here and change it up to make sure that it's your latest video. For me, I want to do my latest video, which is YouTube is finally in easy mode and it's going to be at the top. As you see now that it's at the top, the for you page went down. And if I didn't want this here, I could just go here, change the video or remove the video. So I have my channel trailer and the for you. Also, I'm going to put my popular videos here. I don't want to do my just videos. I want to do my popular videos. Basically, it's going to show my best videos um, just to have them looking at them. So I'm going to add that as you see, it pops up here. And then I want to do some playlist.
and I don't want that playlist, so I'm going to remove that section. Single playlist, and that allows you to actually put your playlist there. So me, um, this is where basically you can make a playlist, and once you make your playlist, you can actually have sections. So this will help for people that are looking for specific things from your channel if you do multiple things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my Etsy side hustle here. I'm going to add another section, single playlist, all videos. That's how I'm going to have mine. And the thing is, you don't have to go to the remove section portion to just remove it. You can also just click on the little couple lines and move it up or move it down. And you can go to what you want to do. So you can kind of switch it up and have it how you want to have it. So me, I want my for you up there, my popular videos, um, and then start getting to my specialized playlist and videos. Also, if you do streaming, you can do your live now, your past streams or your upcoming live streams. But since I'm not doing a lot of streaming on this channel, I'm not necessarily gonna have this up here. If that ever changes, this is where you would do that. So for the people that have podcasts and stuff like that, this is where you want those to go because you want those to be front and center. So you might want to have a past live stream and you might want to put it all the way at the top. So then people can see it. If you were somebody that did live streams, but I don't do live streams. So I want to remove that section. Also, another little quick tip and hack. You may see that I have this here and this here. Um, and these are analytics. This is basically TubeBuddy and VidIQ. Um, I highly recommend those things because um, you may have see these couple of sections that you don't have, but these things and these analytics is how you're gonna get your page to actually grow really fast as well. Um, a link for those will be in the description as well. So if you guys wanna go ahead and click those links, I highly recommend that so then you can see. So you guys should do a deep dive, getting into the settings and actually seeing what you're doing and it will help your channel grow as well. Like I said, I don't gatekeep, so I'm going to give you guys all the tips and tricks. Also, if you had different channels, you can go to featured channels. So like you can show different YouTube YouTubes that you may have or different channels and stuff. So that helps you actually cross promote, whether it be your friends or family's channel or even your own channel. That may be a different topic or subject. You can have that right there. After you're done with everything, you're going to hit publish. And then it says change is published. You can go to your channel here or view channel here. I'm going to go view channel here since that other one is gone. Listen, I'm going to say this. Slow. And now you can see the changes that you've made. See the for you, the popular videos, the Etsy side hustle, all my videos. And that will help because now that you have everything on your homepage, people will have an easier way navigating through your actual YouTube. So boom, those are some of the settings that you change in order to get your viewership up, get some of your videos viewed so that you can get more views on your uh, page and also get more subscribers. If you found the video helpful, uh, please just make sure that you like, subscribe and comment. Let me know because it does help a creator like me. Anyway, Timmy T signing off.